of freedom flickers still despite every effort to quench it you of amnesty international have helped us keep it alive we cannot repay you enough but we will try a nuestros compañeros de america latina y el caribe muchas gracias y un abrazo fraternal a nos amis de mon francophone d'afrique du sur sur merci beaucoup de votre solidarité. Assalamu alaikum, peace be with you. Stukram alhamdu lila. Thank you, thanks be to God. And in our native Filipino, mabuhay ang Amnesty International. Amnesty International started 30 years ago uh, in 1961. Um, it was a simple idea and it started with the idea that uh, individual citizens can make an impact on human rights violations by governments all over the world. It started very simply a British lawyer, Peter Benenson, who was outraged uh, when he read in a newspaper that two Portuguese students had been arrested because they were toasting to freedom. He got off the train on which he was traveling and uh, decided that he had to do something in order to stop this. He wrote an article which he called The Forgotten Prisoners and from that moment the Amnesty International campaign began. You see, a Asia is that part of the world which houses what, three billion people out of, of the world's over four billion. It is, it is populated by, by large uh, numbers of people where 700 million of, of, of our people in Asia live in absolute poverty. So the whole question of poverty, of inequality, of social unrest, of, uh, of political repression, of the, of the repression of basic rights, this is, and of, of, of armed conflicts, no? ethnic conflicts, of latent conflicts. No? So these are kind of part of the mosaic no? which composes the, the Asian scene. No? Starting from its essentially Western European uh, beginnings, Amnesty has grown very rapidly all over the world. We can see this in the Asia region quite clearly, where Amnesty members are spread all over the continent, from India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and South Asia, uh, through Southeast Asia, the Philippines, Thailand, and Japan. <laughs> time the ICM comes to Asia. It is an act of faith in our movement and one of hope in the future. <laughs> それではここで第20回国際評議員会議を開催するにあたって主催支部日本支部として This ICM is quite unique in the sense that we first used the electric mail so that we can translate the documents 
and we can send it to the Paris FI, which is our French translation center, and also to the Madrid, which have a EDI, and the Spanish translating center. So we go and fought back. And so that uh, this is a kind of, indeed, uh, mini United Nations. We use the languages for the first time, Arabic too, as well as English, Spanish, and French. And also as a host language, the Japanese are also in added. And our message is very simple, but Amnesty is now really becoming a truly international movement. And the symbolic uh, attitude is this ICM, uh, who was held in Yokohama.アムネスティインターナショナルという風にそのまま言って通じることはまずなかったですねだからわざわざ日本語で人権を守る国際救援機構という名前を付けましたし今はもうそれも使わなくても通じるようになりましたけれどもそういう言葉の壁が一つありまし
And but suddenly, with the um, coming of 1997, the people have uh, waken up suddenly and, and realized that uh, the freedoms that we enjoy right now uh, may be uh, very rapidly eroded. Because um, awareness about human rights is still uh, relatively thin, and, uh, and I think a lot of work needs to be done. So I think the role of any organization uh, whose goal is to uh, promote awareness of human rights and to help to uh, protect human rights uh, has, has a very uh, difficult and a big task ahead. Hi, can I give you a letter to sign? Maybe you can solicit somebody else. Yeah, these are the letters collected from yesterday's exhibition. Uh, we hold the exhibition to mark the 30th anniversary of Amnesty International. We prepare the letters for the public to sign. And it, we've got quite a lot. So this one is going to send to the Deputy Minister of Interior of, of Thailand. And this part is going to send to Mr. Doi Moi, Chairperson of the Council of Ministers in Vietnam. Um, we have very little um, involvement from Chinese members. And we have to write a letter to schools um, saying that we have um, to introduce our um, organization and offer a speaker to come to, to the school to give talk. But the response is very, um, not very enthusiastic. But recently, um, during the past two years, we've had a big change. Now it's the public and the schools approach us. Uh, two months ago, when we have these death penalty um, issues, so one legislative councillor um, advocated to bring back the death penalty. And Amnesty was approached to take part in a public debate and to ask for our comments. And at the debate, Amnesty really managed to um, lobby some of the legislators. And we, we, we won that, um, at this debate that the death, death penalty should be removed from the statute book. Well, very few people who react to a question that do you support death, death penalty has really considered uh, in a more rational manner the reasons and grounds for support of death penalty. And so I think in this area, the government should play a leading role. They should lead the public opinion. I think uh, non-governmental organizations like Amnesty, who are well known in the international arena, they have certainly an important role to play in Hong Kong. <laughs> Remember, join Amnesty and have a really good time tonight. We wanted to reflect every major group that's living in Hong Kong. So even the Vietnamese boat people contributed a mural because they couldn't come, obviously, but we wanted them to be represented. Other than that, we had a Chinese rock band, we had a Western rock band, we had Eurasian rap. So we think music crosses barriers and there's probably more language barriers and religious and cultural barriers in Asia than anywhere else in the world. So we thought this was one thing to try and it seemed to work quite well. Some people think uh, that amnesty is too soft and too docile in their movement method. And oh, why are you always writing and just sitting and sipping coffees and just discussing about human rights, the luxury items in your office in, uh, in, on, on the table? And why don't you take part in these street demonstrations and throwing stones? The Koreans have uh, a sort of temper so they just expect uh, they just expect a sort of result in a short time but what we are doing is just small thing through a long period oh, we always uh, try uh, trying to keep our 
the balance or tension between two extreme gravities. So <laughs> it's kind of a problem. But I think our members in this society, uh, up until now, have been some kind of successful in doing so. We, we believe Koreans are very the alcohol prone people, so <laughs> sometimes our group organizes fundraising night, uh, selling beer. We have prepared tickets uh, of different price tickets and sold them to very different areas of people, uh, politicians and professionals and ordinary people and students, etc. We gathered signatures distributed our leaflets about our activity and the admission papers uh, for them to participate in our movement. Politically, we don't have any dialect restriction from the government side. But uh, uh, before I came here, I even got the telephone call from the man who was uh, who is an Secret Service department, and he just wanted to know what would be going on this meeting today. So the, I told him frankly about that, uh, and he said he was grateful for my answer, and uh, he said he would call again tomorrow after we finish this. Uh, uh,我们的国家政府是在这里。呃,我们的国家政府是在这里。我们的国家政府是在这里。我们的国家政府是在这里。我们的国家政府是在这里。我们的国家政府是在这里。我们的国家政府是在这里。我们的国家政府是在这
a more just world, a more humane world, and they can identify very much with solidarity work. We also have professional groups like uh, Makati and Group 7 and Maritina. These are professional and community-based groups. We are now trying to form a trade union action uh, movement as well within Amnesty, trying to get more trade unionists into doing letter writing, into joining our activities. So the membership is growing and is broad. But really, um, the youth are very easy to mobilize. Lahat naman tayo dito mga child pa naman. Eh, okay lang? Nagpo-focus lang siya sa tatlong dokumento, Universal Declaration of Human Rights, Rights of the Child, at saka yan, outrages of personal dignity are and shall remain prohibited at all times. And Basically, education for freedom is, of course, we know it, it's a, a human rights education project of Amnesty International, and it aims to increase awareness on human rights among the young for them to protect and stand up for their rights. So we are forming now the training brigade. We are training trainers because we know that we in AI cannot reach, it's not possible for us to reach the biggest number of youth. If that's our mission, we really have to work in partnership with existing youth organizations, be it a political youth organization or a church-based organization or a community-based youth organization. This comic books is a very important one. It's, it's, it's made up of um, Disney characters, popular Disney characters, for them to be aware of their rights. So this is growing up with your rights and together with our rights of the child over here, um, the right of the disabled children and all other sorts of uh, rights of the child and convention of the rights of the child. And this one is interesting. Uh, this is Dominic in Toonland. <laughs> Amnesty uh, signboard on, on, on the office room available. So I had to do it in my own house. I put up a uh, signboard. The government took, I think, a week or so to make up his mind about forcibly removing it. They sent a uh, number of policemen without uh, any warrant for search or anything. I, t I told the CDO, the district officer responsible for this, look, you act legally. I think I don't need anybody's permission to put up a signboard and just start it, but he sent policemen without proper authorization. They forcibly removed it. I took their pictures, and the pictures were printed in some of the local <laughs> press. <laughs> when there was political change and an interim government had formed, all the ministers, including the Prime Minister Krishna Prasad Bhattrai uh, was prisoner of consent. They 
new the help of amnesty international uh, provided to them they were in power in changed situation and uh, amnesty workers have been very much uh, uh, assisted by them very much loved by them now we have responsible government you know all the all the characteristics of a democracy at this structure we have got now so i think in such a changed climate i think uh, amnesty as a future i think the government will not create any difficulty in the activities of the amnesty we are sure about that people like me or others politically active person should remain away from amnesty we are spoiling its sanctity because we know the mandate of amnesty international and uh, we we were not swayed by the politicians uh, we don't give them much importance in our activity after the restoration of the democracy we formed the central coordination committee which we lost in 1982 and later we formed so many groups and the person who are interested to join in the amnesty international we open for the whole society that means uh, in the broad sense we try to involve the person in the amnesty international from the different walks of the life we introduced the signature collection program in the street and the, in the different uh, political parties rally or the social organization rally and we use the street theater and the last time our group uh, used to play the street theater in the pasanta bundi at the darbar square on the theme of the prisoner of the conscience police tai <laughs> police tai maile <laughs> maile meri shrimat lai chithi he police tai chithi ma ke le he sunao ah bhannus ta tapai aapni shrimat lai chithi lekha ke bani sambodhan garnu huncha bam lera आप इसे कतल भी कह सकते हैं थोड़ी फैसला करने वाली अदालत फांसी की सजा सुनाने के लिए खेताब है और गाड़ी वालों ने घोड़ों को चाबुक मारे ताकि गाड़ियां मुख्तलिफ संतों में जाएं और इस तरह कैदी के हाथ और पैर उसके जिसम से अलहदा हो जाए इसके बाद फिर दूसरी कोशिश हुई इस मरतबा एक गाड़ी और कैदी का एक हाथ लेकर भागी और मजमे ने इस कामयाबी पर जोरदार तालियां बजाई एक आदमी को सरेआम फांसी दी गई वहाँ पे लोग आए देखने आए कि इस आदमी को किस तरीके से फांसी दी जाती है उस आदमी ने फांसी से पहले ये कहा कि मैं कसम खा के कहता हूँ कि मैंने ये जुर्म नहीं किया औरतों ने चीखें मारी इस आदमी को फांसी ना दी जाए वहाँ पे बच्चे भागना शुरू हो गए और जो आदमी फांसी दे रहा था उसको समझ नहीं आ रही थी कि वो मजिस्ट्रेट का कहना सुने या वहाँ पे जो आए हुए लोग हैं उनका कहना माने और जो जेल के सीनियर अफसर थे उन्होंने बड़े वसूख से ये कहा कि मेरा काम तो लोगों को फांसी लगते देखना है और मैं बड़े वसूख से कह सकता हूँ कि हमारे यहाँ कम से कम 25 फीसद ऐसे लोगों को सजा मौत दी जाती है जो बेगुना हो एमनेस्टी इंटरनेशनल इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट नोन एंड मोस्ट पॉपुलर इंटरनेशनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन पाकिस्तान विलेजर्स मे नॉट हैव हर्ड ऑफ यूनेस्को मे नॉट हैव हर्ड ऑफ डब्ल्यू एच ओ बट दे हैव हर्ड ऑफ एमनेस्टी because there was a time in the 70s and even in the early 80s when only one voice could make a difference between life and death of a politically detained person a contact with the outside world does so much to lift the morale of the person who is a prisoner but i can never forget how profoundly affected and encouraged i was when i came to know that amnesty had adopted me as a prisoner of conscience and one time in my prison cell i also received one of the amnesty international packages with food and biscuits and raisins and nuts and i cherished that package and i rationed that package i feel proud to see pakistanis associated with amnesty international i would like to see amnesty international strengthen
in the beginning, of course, our membership uh, was very, very respected. So we have to uh, approach our friends and other organizations. Then, of course, the results are that uh, now we have a sizable portion of uh, our membership around us in various uh, towns of the country. Every month we do print from 3,000 to 3,500 copies of the Urdu Bulletin and we are getting a very positive feedback. This is a letter from Multan that the people want it to be mailed directly to them and this list carries the names of 100 people. I know that uh, local groups have come up uh, not only in big cities but I have found them in the interior of Sin. موسیقی امنیسٹری کی طرف سے اس سے کیک کٹوایا تھا اس کا ایک تھاک قسم کی تقریب ہو گیا ان دنوں میں ہانگ کانگ کے گروپ نے میرے ساتھ کانٹیکٹ کیا جب یہاں مارشل آگ اتنی سختی تھی کہ اپنے والدین تک دوست تک جو ہے وہ خط لکھنے کی وہ حمد نہیں کر سکتے تھے ہانگ کانگ کے ایک خط مجھے بھیجا گیا تھا جب میں جیل میں تھا کرپور جیل میں نومبر ٹونٹی فورتھ ایٹی ایٹ دیر گنچام مائی نیم ایز اسٹیفن شو آئی ایم ریلی of the Jesuit order and I am teaching ethics at a secondary school in Hong Kong. Kansham, please be patient and be strong. There are a lot of people fighting for you. We need you to continue fighting with us. I will write again. God bless. Faithfully yours, Stephen Chow. Now, Amnesty International, therefore, uh, has a great, uh, in a sense, a great responsibility to have an Asian presence. Because for many of these countries in Asia, it is important that an Asian voice likewise tells the government, look, you cannot continue with that kind of, of, of behavior, with that kind of violation. I recall a dialogue with the Indonesian ambassador here when we were protesting about East Timor. <coughs> they were saying, what is an organization like Amnesty International coming from a Western uh, Western tradition and from Western countries doing intervening in our affairs. And I told them, Mr. Ambassador, I come from the Philippines. I am your neighbor. I share your concerns, your culture. But at the same time, we cannot accept killings. Today, I believe we are poised for a breakthrough in terms of Amnesty's uh, appeal and Amnesty's outreach in this vast continent. The winds of democracy, the winds of change, the, 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 the winds the climate conducive to peace is going to influence much of what is going on in Asia. And therefore, for Amnesty International to, take this, to seize this opportunity, and therefore to grow in this part of the world and to add its voice no, to the growing clamor for the defense of human rights. So on behalf of us all, domo arigato gozaimasu. <laughs> <Or, laughs>